Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the columns element. So let's go ahead up to the Add button, click that, and search for columns. And let's drop in a columns element. A columns element is a container level element, meaning you're gonna put other elements inside of your columns. When we first drop it in, we get a few different options for layout. We can do two columns, three columns, and we have a couple of options with two columns, but where each column is a different size. For now, we'll drop in the two column layout. Now, if we open up our structure view, you can see that the columns element actually inserts a couple of child elements called a column. If we want to manipulate the individual columns, we can just click one of them and then adjust their settings as needed. We can also add additional columns to our columns element by duplicating an existing column, or we can remove columns simply by deleting a column. Now back to the columns element itself, we have a few options in our design tab. Under layout, we can add a column. We can set the breakpoint at which we want our columns to stack vertically. We can set the breakpoint at which we want our columns to go to 50% width. This is important for layouts where the columns aren't already 50% width, such as with three or four columns. And we can set the breakpoint at which we want to reverse the order of the columns. This can be important if you have a layout where there's an image on one side, text on the other, and when it collapses down to a single column, you want the image to always be above the text. This setting will allow you to accomplish that. Moving on, we have the size section, which allows us to set the width and the height of the columns element. And finally, we have the spacing section, which allows us to determine our column gap, which is the gap between the column elements inside the columns element itself and the padding of the individual columns. We can also directly change the containers margin top and margin bottom. This would allow us to add space above or below our columns element. Again, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and that's a quick look at Breakdance's columns element. Thanks for watching.